Hey folks, this is Jeff. I'm going to do a, uh, well, I want to say short video, but I don't know how long exactly it's going to take. Um, I've been working on this for a few days now. Um, I saw someone else had built um, a settlement way up at the top of this uh, lighthouse, so when I discovered it, I, I thought I would do something kind of similar, but naturally in my own style. I'm having trouble um, with some parts of it. Um, the guest room, it was as big as this, which is really tiny, and I just I wanted to see if I could if I could just add this much length to it. You know, get a bed in there I could put because I, I want to put a desk and a dresser, you know, just something that looks very accommodating. Um, but I'm having trouble because when I do manage to get the walls installed, the roof won't come down. So when I tried to uh, glitch in the roof, it just it wouldn't do it. So I think what I need to do is glitch in the walls just a little lower. I've actually already tested this. Um, if you glitch in the walls just a little lower, you can snap the roof in. Um, and you can pillar glitch if you use um, the uh, upper second floor concrete slab I think floors yeah this one the thick one um, it doesn't work with the wood one um, but the concrete one it does um, and I thought that was really cool that I could pillar glitch into that floor uh, especially since this build is in the air um, I don't get stopped by any uh, thing underneath it I think it has limit. Well, it does have limitations. If it's sitting on top of, for example, on top of another user-made floor, um, it won't sink. Um, any other kind of ground that a pillar normally won't sink into, it won't sink into that. So you're just you're limited to the thickness of the uh, slab in most cases, unless it's in the air. Then you're not. You you can just move the the pillar up and down as much as you want. So that's the section I'm going to work on. Now there's a lot of stuff I've done in here. Um, pretty much all the glitch, especially the wire glitching and the um, the logic gates, I learned on the school school zone channel. Yeah. He's got a really good channel. He's very uh, clear um, explanations. He gives a lot of good examples. Yeah, how to do things, and so that that really. Uh, that really helped me out building stuff because when I first started building, <laughs> especially at Sanctuary, is basically where I got the concept that you could even build. I didn't understand that in um, when I saw uh, a lot of reviews for Fallout 4. I didn't didn't get it. I'd heard that you could build stuff, build your own settlements. I assumed you could just build your own vault and people stay in there, but I didn't know it was this extensive. Um, so when I started building at Sanctuary, it was it's pretty crazy. I didn't realize all the stuff you could do, but um, it's a very tacky looking settlement because I didn't know about all the glitching and sinking you could do. Oh, this is my workspace in case I'm working late. Put up some lights so I can throw things together. Alright, pillar. Sink it just a little bit need to sink it because the conduit has to sit above the ground just a little just a smidge Okay, this door needs to be at an angle and that conduit's not low enough. Alright. Uh, another trick for those who don't know. Um, sometimes when you multi-select 
items, you know, by holding your select key for like a second or two, uh, it'll pop off in some direction because it's got its focus on your main target, but you need to set your primary as the thing that you're holding. So you select it and you can cancel your selection or deselect it, whatever you want to do, but you have to at least select it and deselect it somehow. And then when then when you multi then you, when you multi select it'll uh, it'll focus on that and you won't get that weird anomaly. Okay. So that's something else I learned from the school zone, and that's backwards. Shit. Yeah, that's the wrong one. All right. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay. Yeah, I need to you need to put it in an angle so you can see what you're doing. Oh, forgot. I always save at points like this in case I uh don't set it in right, I can just come and grab it again. Okay. I think I'm going to have to tolerate that right there. Can I roof it? I don't know who developed the uh, build system here. I think I'm going to na name them the Afterthought crew. Okay. Now let's try the wall. Let's see if I can set it up so I can sink this wall pretty hard. Because those roofs just don't like walls where they're not supposed to be. Make sure the wall is higher. And sinks. Good. Okay. I don't know what it's running into other than maybe just the floor itself. Pretty sure it's not the conduit now. Oh, I need more than that. Good. Let's try it. Doesn't look like it likes it. Alright, try one more little thing before I give up entirely. So, let's take this out. See if that helps at all. Yeah, I don't know if that's the conduit or not as a thing. I don't think it is. It's, it's conduit sinking. Alright.
crap. It doesn't look quite perfect, but I just, I want to see. Uh, no, it's not. Do it? Did I actually do it? Oh shit! <laughs> I never said it fell off. <laughs> oh wow! I mean, even if there's a little bit of, you know, stuff sticking out, I don't mind as long as I got a solid roof. Yeah, you see, I got a little bit of the seam there. You can even see through it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I already saved. I can't back up. All right. Well, let's see. <laughs> can't talk now. I just want to see if this whole thing goes. I may keep this and just, you know, if I want to perfect it, I know what to do. So, oh, happy 4th of July, everyone. A little tiny crack right there. You yeah, know, some water might get through. But I think I'm okay with it. <laughs> I don't believe I did that. All that work just to create this much space in a guest room. But hey, you know, I want it to look right. You know, I need my friends to be able to move around a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'm going to call that a raging success. So anyway, uh, shout out to School Zone. Thank you very much for all your tutorials. It's been great figuring out how to do all this stuff and even come up with my own ideas for things. And thanks for watching. Bye.